And the dynasty rolls on. North Dakota State heading back to Frisco, the FCS championship game, the 42-14 winners over Montana State. And early in the game in the second quarter with that Travis Johnson touchdown, the Montana State players riding high. The confidence was there, and then bang, bang. It was Christian Watson with two touchdowns of 145 combined yards. That the difference in the ball game, according to Bobcats head coach Jeff Choate. We put a nice drive together and scored, and then in short order, uh, the momentum changed again, and I definitely think that was a huge play in the game. Um, the, the big plays are, you know, they're devastating, but, you know, they also ground some things out on us. I mean, I just think this was a better team, and uh, we've got to own that, and we've got to go back and do what we did last year is learn from this and, and try to add the right pieces to our roster and, and uh, look at what we're doing schematically that can push us forward. Uh, we know where the bar is. It doesn't, you know, we don't have to look far to find it. And so, um, but as I told these guys, I promise you we're going to get there. And so that's our goal, and um, we're not going to deviate from it. You know, he's a big receiver, and he's he's one of the fastest guys we've gone against this year. Um, uh, he's just he's a really good player, and he's only a sophomore too. So you know, he's got a he's got a bright future. You know, it's kind of pick your poison. You know, you're you're it wasn't straight, man. I mean, we've had some post safety help on a couple of those, but there's uh, you know, if you're going to commit two guys to stop him, you look at this prolific offensive line that they have, and they've got three really talented running backs, and then you couple that with their quarterback run game. And so, uh, you know, Trey did a nice job of identifying when he had what he thought was man coverage, and, and that guy ran by us. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. I agree with what Braden said. I mean, I think he's got next level speed, and uh, we had a hard time containing him. Had our hopes high, and we, were, uh, we thought we could, um, you know, get some things going. I think we did. I think we did some good things today. Um, like you said, there were some explosive plays, and um, man, uh, <laughs> Isaiah runs hard. I don't think anyone in this room could deny that. Uh, really happy, um, you know. He kind of he had some dealing with some injuries early on this year, and um, the way he's been able to, uh, you know, bounce back from that. And I mean, the, the way he runs is, is super special. And um, I mean, even with Logan too. I mean, I could probably sit here for another hour and t talk about these guys. But yeah, I think uh, we got some explosive plays. It was it was exciting. I think you know we just didn't capitalize, and um, I don't think it was anything scheme wise. It just you know it just came down to us players. So flip the script. Meanwhile. Dakota State, the chatter really all across the country last week was this team looks beatable. They heard that noise and thought differently. So an eighth trip to the FCS championship game in nine seasons. We showed you all the trophy case on Friday down here in Fargo. So now what do they think about what Montana State is trying to build getting to that Bison level? I, I think they're trying to run the football. They're trying to establish it. They're trying to play really good de defense, um, shorten the games. I'm sure it's a different animal that they play in, in the big sky. Uh, you know, there's more 11, 10 personnel, uh, more affinity for the pass game maybe a little bit. So, um, but you know, they're, they're a good team. You know, they're a solid team. And, uh, you know, our, our kids were just ready to go today and uh, took some things personal during the course of the week. And uh, that was okay. So as Montana State fans are aware, it's the second consecutive FCS playoffs. The Bobcats fall in Fargo. This time in the semifinals, they're this close to reaching that pinnacle of FCS football. And for the seniors, what a turnaround it was for head coach Jeff Choate. A lot of praise about those guys as they lead him to back-to-back -back playoff appearances 2020. It'll be up to some of those younger guys to follow in their footsteps. We'll have plenty more coverage throughout the weekend in Fargo, but wrapping up game day in the Fargo Dome, Richie Melby. MTN Sports.